Good day, everyone. Welcome to the CPU Gospel Hour. This is another hour of spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. I'm Dr. Evangelica Gesto Padernilla, your host for today's uh, Gospel Hour. This Gospel Hour is under the direction of the University Church of Central Philippine University, the president of which is Dr. Uh, Chidoro C. Robles. Um, there are three spirit-filled worship services in our church every Sunday. The first begins at 7 uh, in the morning and then the second at 9.30, that's mid-morning, and the third, which we call the Vesper Hour, is at 5.30 in the afternoon. Today's Gospel Hour is a recorded uh, video presentation of the second worship service at 9.30 a.m. It is Children's Sunday. And uh, there, there were many children from the kids' zone uh, who came to, to worship with us who, and, who were and who were presented during this uh, uh, Sunday worship. Mm -hmm. There's a warm welcome to all, uh, especially to the RE classes and the Professor Ria Angelica F. Uh, Veliesa and Reverend Verdi King Gayona. Uh, they, they are going to worship with us uh, today. And then there is a school of evangelism that is going on uh, every, um, every afternoon at 2 to 5. Uh, yes, every afternoon. Uh, for, this is for 8 consecutive uh, sessions if you are interested to join the next batch of uh, this is what they call the uh, School of Evangelism SOE at 2 to 5 p.m. Um, every uh, every every set every Sunday at 2 to 5 p.m. Then there's a prayer meeting every Wednesday at, uh, at uh, 5.30 p.m. Everyone is invited to come, pray, and share experiences that will bless others. There's also um, a uh, prayer for the suffering churches of the world. This is Open Doors Daily Prayer. There's an Open Doors Daily Prayer Guide for, this, uh, for, the, for prayers uh, to guide uh, us in our prayer. So you can get a copy on the table near the PA system every uh, Sunday. Um, a condolence... Uh, for, for the passing away of Mr. Noel uh, Shusan Jr. Uh, he, 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 is, he is going to have their uh, necrological service and burial on uh, August 11. Uh, and then um, and on August 19, ra rather. Baptismal class is Sunday. There's a sub, sub, miss, uh, baptismal class every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. to those who desire to be baptized or are simply interested to be baptized. Um, this is, uh, please contact Reverend Judge Roger T. Kimpo or any other member of the pastoral staff for inquiries if you are interested in joining this uh, baptismal class. And then there's our Kids Zone 
children's ministry uh, ages 16 and below, it, which continues to provide our children with Bible-based and fun learning experiences. We hope your children can, can attend faithfully. Classes are from nursery to grade 9 at 9 a.m. every Sunday. This is at the, the University Student Center. Classes for parents and guardians are also provided for those who are waiting for their, for their children. Then the Gospel Hour. This Gospel Hour is, is the University Church Sunday Second Worship Service will no longer have replaced on Mondays and Sundays. Rather, uh, live coverage of the service uh, will be bro broadcasted on CPU TV, uh, uh, Facebook page, HTTPS, um, www.facebook.com, Central Philippine University TV every every uh, Sunday that is live and then um, the recorded live videos will still be uh, viewed uh, anytime every day on the same Facebook page of Central Philippine University. Then we have the Christian Youth Regular Activities Christian Youth Fellowship every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Youth Prayer Power every Friday at 5.30 p.m. And we have what we call the FUSE, capital F-U-Z-E. This is a joint fellowship every first Saturday at 2.30 p.m. and the same place student uh, center. Um, we hope that uh, um, as the parts of the worship service uh, unfolds wherever you are, you're, you will join us in the joyful praises and adoration by the whole congregation. The beautiful and harmonious uh, music of, of our choir, the fervent corporate uh, prayer of our pastor and the powerful and soul touching sermon uh, this Sunday by Charlotte Janala with a with a topic uh, the seed. Um, the the uh, this is for the children, uh, which explains the. Uh, the function of the seed and how it will grow into a tree if they anchor their faith deeply in the soil. Um, so uh, those are all for now. Opportunities for service will be given almost at the end of the worship service. Um, prayer. Uh, then uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, announcement which we give, which will be given uh, later. Um, and so uh, may you all have a meaningful and inspiring worship experience today as you open your hearts to God's presence and the workings of the Holy Spirit. To God be the glory. We bless the Lord uh, because um, this is the day that He has made for us to worship Him. And it is my prayer that uh, we will find our joy in just worshiping our Lord. Um, we thank Him for the freedom to worship Him. We bless the Lord for the successful Christ Emphasis Week uh, celebration. Uh, all glory to God who had been with us all throughout the week. Uh, he provided good weather, and of course, uh, um, we feasted on the preaching of the word for the entire week. So, pasalamat kita sa Ginoo. And uh, 
Today, we celebrate uh, Children's Sunday. We bless the Lord for the presence of children in our homes, in our families. Uh, the Bible says that children are a heritage from the Lord. So, uh, you know, we can only imagine uh, what life would be without children in our homes, in our community. Pero kapasalamat kita nga may mga kabataan kita. As a matter of fact, um, today, most of our worship participants are coming from our kids' zone, ang uh, aton mga kabataan. So, um, let's just welcome one another uh, in the presence of our Lord. We want to welcome our brothers and sisters from uh, Miagao, Mrs. Gardenia, uh, Kachupero Nogra, and uh, Rachel Lea C. Nogra. Abi Palihog Tindog for, uh, for us to recognize you. Welcome, Gid, to the University Church. And also from Nyagao, uh, Daina Fiel uh, Kamemo and Jose Jasper Kamemo. So, welcome to the University Church. It is my prayer that uh, you will have a meaningful worship experience with us uh, today. And um, also, we bless the Lord for uh, the presence of uh, nine uh, RE classes, no RE classes under Professor Rhea Angelica F. Villeza and uh, Reverend Verdi King Gayoma. Abi ginapangabay ko ang mga RE students to please stand. RE students? Wow. So, pwede na kamo kapung ko. Um, you are very much welcome to the University Church. We are very happy that uh, you could uh, come and worship with us, especially for those who have come for the first time. Um, and uh, we would like to extend our invitation if um, you are living uh, away from Iloilo and you don't have a home church. Uh, you are very much welcome to join the services and also the programs of the University Church. This is also your church away from home. Okay, may ari pagkikita mga bisita. Uh, uh, Susan and Gracie Calaor, please stand. And also... Uh, Sarah Prieto from uh, Qatar. Pero Susan and uh, Gracie Calaor, please stand. Ara sila sa likod. Welcome to the University Church. And uh, Sarah Prieto, also uh, there at the back. Um, they are from Providence uh, Subdivision. So, welcome again no, sa University Church. So, tungod nga damo kita sa mga kauturan nga nagbisita sa aton. Uh, let us all rise and welcome one another. As we extend our greetings to the brothers and sisters uh, who are worshiping with us today by singing, Welcome to the Family.
seated.
Please rise for our call to celebration. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands and you put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth.
and children standing as we pray. Our loving God, we give thanks to you for this wonderful Sunday morning. We praise you for your goodness and faithfulness in our lives. We, your children, are joyful to call upon your name. We love, honor, and glorify you. O Lord our God, touch our hearts and minds to really worship you today. We rely on your promises that you will never leave us nor forsake us. 
Today, we recognize your holy presence in our midst as we worship in you, in spirit and in truth. May we rejoice in your divine presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He Let's be seated. Good morning. Happy Children's Sunday. Luke 137 says, With God, nothing is impossible. We continue holding on this promise for the past 12 years. Yes, Kid Zone is already 12 years old. This children's ministry was the product of the University Church Sunday School. It, was, it is called Kid Zone, and we see it growing. We are serving many children, and sometimes our attendance reaches to 120 every Sunday. Our approved budget is 368402 This supports our activities, which you will see in the video later. To mention a few, VCS is the most well-attended activity. Then we have our Christmas party that aside from our kid zone, our outreaches and the children of our security guards came here to celebrate with us. We have one special Sunday to accommodate our special activity every month, so children take part in all these activities. As of the moment, we have our interest groups, the tambourine dance group, the singing group, the guitar group, and the recorder group. Mostly of our volunteers are also employed, so we worked 24-7. And we are physically tired, but you know, our stress reliever is our kid zone. Can I ask the kid zone um, children to please stand? Also, our kid zone staff. Yes. They are our stress reliever every Sunday. Here we can laugh, we can smile, and most importantly, we can share the UC ministry of reaching people, obeying God's call to serve Him. So if you want to be stress-free, join us. We need teachers like you. Also, sometimes we felt we are insufficient but just as we come in kid zone, the Lord God supplies all our insufficiencies. Thank you for all your support and prayers. And thank you, Lord, for your abiding presence in all our kid zone activities. To God be the glory. Let's watch the video, please. No one like you. None. 
beyond the promises of Christ my King Through eternal ages that His praises ring Glory in the eyes I will shout and sing Standing on the promises of God So we stand on the promises of God as we cast our cares upon Him. I cast all my cares upon you. I request uh, Kids Zone children and volunteers and staff to please uh, stand. Um, also, the religion and ethics uh, students, please stand because uh, we will, the church will be offering a special prayer for you. I don't know if there are people from who are graduates of uh, social work department. Uh, they will be taking the board exams this week. Kung may ari diri, please stand. Uh, may ari diri, please buy your own kamot. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, please rest assured that the church um, is continually praying for you. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Our gracious God, who is the source of every good and perfect blessing. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. We thank you that today, as a community of faith, we have this freedom to worship you. We Bless your name, O oh Lord, for what you have done in and through us for the rest of the week, especially during our Christ Emphasis Week. We thank you, Lord, for 
giving us the opportunity to preach your word to preach the seed of faith in the hearts of the St. Brian community thank you Lord for being with us with our speakers but most of all for granting us a conducive weather uh, regardless of the storm and heavy rains a week before that but uh, we thank you Lord because you have been gracious to us now we just entrust to you everything what has transpired in our convocations because we stand on your promises and one one of them is that whenever your word is preached in the midst of your in the midst of your people they will not be they will return to you void but will accomplish your purpose in the lives of your people thank you lord we sow we water the seeds but it's you who make them grow and bear fruit thank you lord for the presence of our children truly according to your word they are a heritage from you precious gift coming from you lord and we thank you for these children for the joy that these children children uh, brings to us thank you for their questions thank you for their laughter thank you for the for the presence that inspire us lord and we thank you for giving us this privilege to respond to your command to love you above all else to love the lord our god with all our hearts soul and strength and also to impress this upon our children and we thank you for our kids zone ministry that respond to the call or response to the call thank you for the presence of staff and volunteers who help run the program thank you lord for raising up in our midst faithful children of yours who take joy who find joy in serving you by serving our children so it is our prayer lord that you will just mold these kids in your word and enable them lord to grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with god and man may they reach their full potential as human beings but most of all we pray that they will become a blessing to your people to their families to our communities thank you lord we all we are also grateful for the presence of our religion and ethics uh, students we thank you lord for their professors uh professor Rhea angelica villesa and reverend verdi king gayoma for bringing their students here this is no accident that they are here we believe that you have brought them here to hear your word not to have a religion but to have a lasting relationship with your son jesus a saving knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ and so lord i ask you that you will bless these students bless their families bless their studies i pray that they will be able to finish what they have started here at cpu they will be able to finish their studies um, and lord as cpu seeks to equip these students in their future career i pray that through our fides or faith program programs they will be able to apprehend faith 
so that they will be equipped for life. We entrust them to you, Lord. Spare them from the evil one, from the enemy. Spare them from the presence of the enemy who seeks to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Empower them, inspire them, Lord, in their studies. <clears throat> I also pray for their respective families. May you will bless their guardians and parents. Uh, bless them, Lord, financially so that they will be able to support um, their students here at Central. I entrust them to you, Lord, for your safekeeping, for your protection, and for blessing. We entrust to you our graduates and maybe members of our families who will be taking the board exam for uh, social work. Lord, as a community of faith, we are praying that you will be with them. Grant them clarity of mind, courage, and most of all, fortitude to face this big challenge in their bid to pass the examination. Grant them good health. And Lord, we pray that you will also grant them success. We remember them in our prayers. Um, we entrust them to you because you have promised us that you are able to keep whatever we have committed to you, Lord. Maybe there, there are people here who are not feeling well. They are uh, afflicted by various diseases or maybe some of us are facing some tough times problems in our homes problems in our relationships in our work we are vulnerable creatures Lord we are not immune from pain from trials from temptations but we ask you, Lord, to be our strength, to be our guidance, to be our guide, to be our inspiration, so that we will be able to rise above the circumstances that beset us. We have families in our community who are grieving. We pray for the Bedayo and Sariaco family for the passing away of Mrs. Luz Bedayo who died last August 9, 2019. We pray for the family of uh, Mrs. Delia Seriaco. And we also pray for the Siosan family for the passing away of Mr. Noel Shusan Senior, who died on August 11, 2019. Lord, we remember these families in our prayer and we pray that your comforting presence will sustain the family during this difficult time. We entrust them to you, Lord. Bless our worship service. Speak to us through our speaker and grant that we will have an open open heart and mind to receive your word and allow these words to sink in take root and most of all bring forth fruits of righteousness peace and joy in our lives forgive us our trespasses O Lord our sins if we have displeased you Lord in any way, we pray that you will just cleanse us and make us worthy to face your throne of grace. If knowingly or unknowingly we have hurt members of our family or our, our community, we pray that you will also forgive us, Lord. Cleanse us by the blood of Jesus. 
This is our humble and earnest prayer. In the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy Please stand for the scripture reading. Our scripture text this morning is found in the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. I am reading from the New International Version. While a large crowd was gathering and the people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seeds fell among thorns, which grew up and, th and choked the plants. Still, other seed f fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop, a hundred times more than it was sown. When he said this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. His disciples asked him what the parable meant. He said, The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to others I speak in parables, so that though seeing, they may not see, though hearing, they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear, and when the devil comes, that takes away the words from their heart, so that they may not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell among the thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not mature. But the, but the seed on the good soil stands for those with a noble heart and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by preserving, produce a crop. This is the word of the Lord. You may now be seated.
The messenger of the Lord this morning is a graduate of Bachelor of Theology major in Christian education in this university and finished her Master of Divinity and pursuing her doctoral degree in church administration at the same time in this university. Married to Pastor Rodel Janala and blessed with a son, Jesse Delchar, a graduate of his RM. Faculty member, values education teacher of CPU Junior High School and at the same time, the assistant principal. A kids on coordinator and member of Christian Education Board. Beloved brethren in the Lord, our speaker this morning, Pastor Charlotte Bayonita Janala. Good morning, everyone. Uh, last month, when we had our uh, Christian Education Board meeting, uh, we are fond of making jokes because we are dealing with kids. Me and Mama Alog would say, Manay, hindi ka na magproblema. Kung why is may makanta, kami ang makanta, kami mas special number. Until we decided kung sino mas speaker, and then si Lingo siya, hindi ka na magproblema. Kung why is may mas speaker, ako mas speaker. It started with a joke, but I'm standing here before you, accepting the challenge that sharing the word of God, it's not joke. But rather, this is an opportunity, and I thank the Lord for using me as his mouthpiece to proclaim God's word. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable and pleasing before thy sight. Use me, O Lord, as your servant. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today is our Children's Sunday. We are here to celebrate and rejoice with the children, with parents, with church members, and the congregation. For we believe that children are gifts from the Lord. They are a reward from above. The theme for this month is sowing the seed of faith. I'll be talking to you this morning, the parable of the sower, based on Luke chapter 8, verses 4 to 8. We will be watching a short video clip because today, as what I have said, is a children's Sunday.
Let me continue. The parable of the sower was told to a crowd that had gathered around Jesus. Jesus tells the story of a sower who scattered seeds on a four different types of soil. The first type of the ground was hard, and the seed could not sprout or grow all and became snatched instantly. The second type of ground was stony, or we call this rocky soil. The seed was able to plant its roots and begin to grow. However, it could not grow deep and sown withered in the sun. The third type of the ground or soil was the thorny soil, and although the seeds could plant and grow roots, it could not compete with the amount of thorns that overtook it. And the fourth ground of soil was called as a good soil that allowed the seed to plant and its root deep, grow strong, and produce fruits. Jesus used this parable to explain to his followers and the disciples that there are different responses to the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. The sower here represents Jesus or God, and the seed is the word of God. The hard ground represents someone with a hardened heart, full of sin and hears the word of God, but does not accept it. Satan is able to keep this person from growing. The stony ground is someone who sows interest and awareness in the gospel. Yet, his heart isn't fully convicted, so when trouble comes, his faith is not strong enough to stand. The thorny ground is a person who receives the gospel, but has many other idols and distractions in life, like worries, riches, Last, we take over his mind and heart, and he cannot grow in the truth of God's word. The good soil is someone who has heard and received the word of God, and allows it to take root and grow within his life. This person represents true salvation and bears good fruit. Jesus spoke the parable of the sower to teach how important the state of our heart is and receiving the gospel, and how our salvation is proved by our choices and actions after hearing the word of God. But let us remember, the fruit of sharing the gospel doesn't happen on its own. It takes a humble heart, a meditation on the word of God, and produce good fruit to further the kingdom of God. Allow me to share this morning my reflection on the acrostic of seed, there are four letters, S, E, E, D. This is a seed of relationship that would nurture and strengthen our faith and God. Let me start with letter S. Letter S stands for the sower. In the parable of the sower, it is clearly stated that the sower represents God. In order to grow and we must start our personal relationship with God, let us have a personal relationship with Him because God is our Savior, He is our Lord, He is our Healer, and many more. Actually, training starts at home, in school, in church, and in the community. I am confident that if we introduce Jesus Christ to our children, they would become strong and mature individual. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 5 to 7 says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Keep these words in your heart. Recite them to your children, and talk about them when you are at home. And when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. I always recall this verse because this is my uh, favorite song when I was in nursery. It says, uh, You shall love the Lord your God. Its song goes this way You shall love the Lord with all your heart. You shall love the Lord with all your soul. You shall love the Lord with all your mind, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Oh Lord, I love you for all the things you do. Oh Lord, I love you. Help me love you more. 
with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. This is a very simple song, but you know what? It sinks down into my heart. I can recall my experience. I grew up in Lambunao. Every Sunday at about one hour, we went to our church to worship God because that's the seed. My parents introduced me to Jesus Christ and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I grew up in attending Sunday school classes, joining the choir, joining the VCS, the kids on camp, and many more. I also remember one quotation that says, If you have everything without Jesus, you have nothing. But if you have nothing but with Jesus, you have everything. My dear parents, maybe we lack material things, but if we put our faith in God and introduce our children to Jesus Christ, bring them to the church, I do believe that the first seed of faith is Jesus Christ. So letter S stands for the sower. The next letter is letter E. Letter E stands for encouragement. Encouragement means something that makes someone more determined, hopeful, or confident. Our role is very important. We are an encourager and not a discourager. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 11 says, Therefore encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. If we go back to the parable of the sower, we learn that encouragement is a virtue. The seed that fell on the thorny soil was choked. They cannot surpass hardships, worries, and problems in life. They need someone to encourage and lift up this spirit. Let me share to you another video clip. I hope it will work. It's a video clip of uh, Derek Redmond with his father, Jim Redmond. So too in lane number three is Steve Lewis, but Redmond's got off very fast indeed, and so too is Ismail at Qatar. Down the back straight, he's the fractional leader. And Redmond has broken down. He's on the track, kneeling down, and Derek Redmond, on his injury problem, the jinx has struck again.
He's getting the chair of the games. That is an encouragement. Derek was a retired British athlete. During his career, he held the British record for 400 meter sprint and won gold medals in many competitions. However, his career was blighted by a series of injuries, as you can see a while ago. In 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona, he tore his hamstring in the 400 meters semifinal, but he continued the race. I like what the father said. The father ran toward him and said, Hold me, son, and together we will run. Together we will finish the race. The wreck managed to fool the truck as the crowd gave him a standing ovation. It was a heartwarming story. Giving encouragement is not pushing our children to do alone, but standing beside them, extending our support, giving them love, giving them time, and our presence really counts. E stands for encouragement. Letter E. The next letter E stands for example. To be an example refers to a person or way of behaving that is seen as a model that should be followed. Children look up to their parents, look up as adults with love, with respect, and a model to emulate. They imitate us and learn us by our doing. There are seeds that fell on the stony soil, and the stony ground is someone who shows interest and awareness in the gospel. Yet his heart isn't fully convicted, so that when trouble comes, his faith is not strong enough to stand. Like the illustration, we are not a good example to our kids, then we have no impact to them. We cannot be a good influence to them as well. I can remember there was a story, a story of Ivan who was 10 years old. Ivan was a bit ridden with incurable disease. His body becomes weak day by day. His parents who were Christians taught him to pray and sing praises to God. And you know what they did? Every day he would sing his mom's favorite song, Count your blessing that says, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. After singing that song, one evening Ivan told his mother, saying, Mother, tomorrow, I will not going to count my blessings one by one. His mother asked, why? And you know what Ivan said to his mom? It is impossible for me to count my blessings one by one. There are just so many. I have to count them dozen by dozen. Let me repeat. Ivan said to his mother, it is impossible for me to count my blessings one by one. There are just so many. I have to count them dozen by dozen. How amazing the story was. I hope and pray that every family represented here will be a good example to our children. We are challenged to have devotional time to our family, family altar, Spend time to the things that is worthwhile, like going to church together, praying, worshiping God, and many more. But you know what? My heart bleeds every time I saw a family member holding their cell phones. We believe that technology connects us, but it's not. Technology breaks relationship. 
Okay, bisa naga tulog ka mo, bisa naga kaon ka mo. You're not talking with each other, talking about your family concerns in school, in their work, wherever they are. But the mother, the father, the children are busy holding their cell phone. And I am also guilty of it. Where is our family time? Are we a good example to our children? Let's stop doing this. Let's start it over again because I know it's not too late. In the Bible, there was a young man whose name Timothy. Timothy grew in the faith of God because his mother and his grandmother, Eunice and Lois, show him a good example of faith. And Timothy grew up and he was encouraged by Paul saying in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, that says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be a good example or set a good example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. I think this verse, this is a challenge not only for the young ones, but for the children but for the congregation, but for the parents, that we should be a good example, as what I have said, in our words, in our deeds, in our faith, in our love, and in our purity. We need to be consistent in our words, in our actions, and in our lifestyle. So the question is, are we a good example? The last letter that I'll be talking is letter D. Letter D stands for determination. It is a quality that makes you continuous trying to do or achieve something that is difficult. If you have something to start, you have something to finish. One role is to help the kids achieve their dreams, to set their goals. That is why we need to set certain guidelines to our children, how to dream big, or even reach their dream in their lives. Maybe they wanted to become a doctor, as what they have said. They want to be a teacher, a nurse, an engineer, and many more. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14 says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Another one in Isaiah 41.10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Like a seed planted on a good soil, it produces a good crop a hundred times. I can remember after my graduation in high school, I decided to take up Bachelor of Theology. That is a five-year course. However, my parents would not allow me because I am the eldest in the family. I have one sister and three brothers. And according to them, I need to finish my studies. Of course, other courses, aside from the, from the theology, kasi nila ako magpastor ka kuno, wala kwarta, I don't think so. To help my parents' financial needs, to support my brothers and sisters in schooling. I keep on praying to God, I stopped for one year, I got sick, until I finally, I decided to enter in the seminary. And you know what happened? I came here at Central Philippine University without money, but with faith, with determination that I'm going to make it. I thank the Lord because I am one of the scholar. I stayed at Weston Hall Dormitory for five years. I enjoyed my free board and lodging for five years without paying my tuition and fees. I can recall when Papa said, every time when I go home or when I went home, siling ni Papa, kay Tagalambunaw kami, uh, we are used of speaking karaya. And these words keep on uh, flashing my mind, siling ni Papa sa akin, Bow, na lipay mang kudaad, hay naguling bata ko, guess balay. Pai sarumaan, kung magbalik duman ko na daya sa CPU, galibog duman ulo ko kung din ako mangita, kaipabalon ko ka na. Ay, in a longgo, he would say, Bao, 
Habi man ko tani nga nagpuli diri si Inday sa balay bisan dali lang makita ko siya. Pero ba sa agar naman after weekend niya sa church, mabalik naman ni siya galibog naman ulo ko kung di naman ako mangita sa ipabalon ko sa iya. I can recall that time when I was in the College of Theology, first year college, my allowance for one week is only 15 pesos. I never worried about it. Siling ko, Lord, I have my western hall where I can stay and sleep. I have my dining hall when I have my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. I claim that the Lord provides and He really provides. And praise God, to cut the story short, that Charlotte, who was before, is still the same Charlotte. Is still Charlotte. Gamay man gapon. Standing with determination because I praise God because God thinks or God did mightily things and wonderful things in my life. In closing, there is a verse in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 that says, A man reaps what he saw. I prepared another video clip entitled The Ripple. May I have this? Mm, no. Why don't you get something special for Grandpa? I'm sorry. Can I return the cake, please? Sure, yes. I want the cake, please. I won't ask for anything else. Next time, okay? When we can afford it? Last time you said that. You don't want this? I'll take it back. for you? Uh, no, we cannot accept it. Would you please? There's no reason for you to buy the cake for us. Well, when I was seven, my mother wanted to buy me a cake. Mommy, I had this one! By the counter, we didn't have enough. Can we get something else? It's my birthday today. Can I choose my own cake, please? I'm sorry. Then, there's this man. I've never met him before. Here, have the cake. Happy birthday. I didn't know his name. I never got a chance to say thank you. I've never forgotten about him. The man in the queue. Thank you. No, thank you. Can I have your contact number? Let me repay you when we have the money. Promise me something, okay? Someday, when you're able to help somebody, you will do it? May I know your name, mister? Well, I'm the man in the queue.
Wow, this is my favorite. Thank you. Let's go and put some candles. Oh, oh, oh careful. <laughs> I, uh, you shouldn't have spent the money. Actually, a Kaiman paid for it. You give me this note. Please write down your address. I'll bring the money back to you later. Simple act of caring creates an endless ripple. That comes back to you. Praise God for that uh, video clip. I like what they have said. A simple act of kindness or a simple act of caring creates an endless ripple that comes back from you. To challenge us all, a simple faith, a simple act of encouragement, a simple act of being a good example, the simple act of being determined, creates an endless ripple that would always come back to us all. Like the seed that we have planted, it will ripple and ripple and produce good harvest like the seed that fell on the good soil. So let's remember what God has said in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Let us plant the seed with God is the sower, the seed of encouragement, the seed of being a good example, and the seed of determination to our kids, to each one of us, and it will ripple and produce a hundred crop. God bless everyone and thank you. Thank you, Pastor Charlotte, for that powerful message. To God be the glory. Let us now give our pledges, tithes, and offerings. But you shall seek the place that the Lord God will choose out of all the tribes to put his name and make his habitation there. There you shall go, and there you shall bring your tithes and the contribution that you present, your vow offerings, your free will offerings, and the firstborn of the herd of your flock.
glory, how far will forgiveness abound? And you answer, my child, I love you. And as long as you're seeking my face, you'll walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace. Discouraged, knowing that someone somewhere could do a better job. For who am I to serve you? I know I don't deserve you, and that's the part that burns. When I keep on letting you down And each time I will fall short of your glory How far will forgiveness abound? And you answer, my child, I love you And as long as you're seeking my face You'll walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace really means the price that I could never pay was paid at Calvary so instead of trying to repay you I'm learning to simply obey you by giving up my life to you for all that you've given to me When I keep on letting you down And each time I will fall short of your glory How far will forgiveness abound? And you answer, my child, I love you And as long as you're seeking my face You'll walk in the power of my daily Sufficient Let's pray. Father, we come to your throne with humble hearts as we are so thankful for the blessings you give us daily. Lord, we believe in the book of Leviticus. Father, I pray that as we give your offerings and tithes this morning, that we all think about the fact that the tithe is yours, it belongs to you. May we never withhold what is yours. Please accept these offerings and tithes with gladness, Lord. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please uh, sit down for a while for some announcements before we sing our closing song.
um, the widow support group uh, will have its bi-monthly luncheon meeting next Sunday after the second worship service. So with the support group, you will have your bi-monthly meeting next Sunday after the second worship service. We uh, would like to express, as, as a community of faith, we would like to express our uh, condolences to the Bidayo and Seriaco families for the passing away of Mrs. Lo Luz Bidayo, uh, mother in a ni Mrs. Delia Seriaco, who is our university um, accountant. And also, um, uh, sa Siosan family for the passing away of Mr. Noel uh, Siosan Sr. Um, his body lies at um, St. Peter Memorial Chapel, Manduriao, Iloilo City. Ang kay Mrs. Seriaco, ya dito sa, sa Talisay. So, Pero ang kay Mr. Noel Shosan, uh, his body will be brought here at the University Church on August 19, 2019. So let us remember these families in our prayers. Um, for the rest of the announcements, I just refer to your church bulletin. By life and by word, let's tell the story of Jesus.
people of God, the world is full of people who are hurting. People who are in fear, in doubt. People who feel that they are not loved. People who feel that they are worthless. And so go out of this place of worship and keep on telling the story of Jesus. Stories of compassion, of love, and redemption. And may the love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. service uh, however we before we close our gospel hour I would like to make uh, a further some further announcements uh, found in our church uh, bulletin these are about the activities that will happen in the near uh, future in our church. Uh, these are the activities that our church uh, also uh, are going to uh, look forward to in this uh, coming uh, weeks, like the um, on, on August 25, it will be a Bahandi Sunday. And uh, of course, the Bahandi singers will be present. This will be a beautiful Sunday worship service full of music. And then in the afternoon of August 25, there will be a widow support group Sunday, not in the afternoon, rather at noon, 
a luncheon meeting of this uh, group, the widow support group at Eugene's restaurant. This is just right in front of, uh, of CPU. September 1, this is a joint worship and communion Sunday where the first Sunday worshipers join with a second, um, second uh, worship service at 9.30 uh, at 9.30 a.m. And uh, then uh, on, on the 7th, um, there will be a prayer breakfast. And then a prayer breakfast uh, joined by the God's Grace uh, members. And after that, uh, there's a deacons uh, meeting, deacons council meeting. Then we have uh, on the 8th, uh, that is a Women's Federation Sunday. The women are encouraged to, to uh, wear the, the, uh, the costumes uh, for this uh, Sunday. On the 15th of September, that will be Grandparents Sunday. And on the 22nd, it is Youth uh, Sunday. These are all for now. This is Mom Vanje bidding you goodbye till next uh, uh, week on the same CPU uh, Facebook page, http.p uh, column uh, 11 www.facebook.com. Uh, Central Philippine University TV, which you can view anytime, uh, every day, on the same Facebook page. May God bless of you, uh, bless all of you, and uh, love you. Uh, bye, everyone. <laughs>